Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to be with you here in the O'Fallon neighborhood in the city of St. Louis, in O'Fallon Park. Um, pleased to join our newly elected and sworn senator, uh, Jamil Lasheed, and, and your alderman, uh, Antonio French, I know is here as well. Uh, 
uh, that are tackling some of the most difficult and challenging problems. And uh, we're here to serve you, and I'm here to let you know I appreciate all the work you do, because without your help and leadership, uh, none of us can do anything. So thank you so much for having me here, and all the best to you in the future. To get the level of minority participation we got on this job site was a fight. It was a fight. Let me tell you, this is the highest level of minority participation on any city job in recent history. 40% of the money that went to pay for this facility went into African American homes. If the administration, if the current administration valued that level of minority participation, this wouldn't be the exception. That would be the rule on all city jobs. <laughs> right? right? But that's not what we've seen. We've seen on each and every one of these job sites for the last 12 years, we've had to fight for minority participation. And the only ones we have any real leverage on to make sure it happens is the ones in our neighborhood. But the real test is, as the city of St. Louis, if we have this level of minority participation on a project that's not necessarily in a black neighborhood, but in the city of St. Louis, because there's still city taxpayers that pay for that. So we should have just as high minority participation if we're building a new project downtown, if we're building a new South St. Louis. These are our tax dollars, and they should go back into our community and hire people reflective of our community, right? Let me give you a little bit more of the history. So that was fight one. Fight one was minority participation to build a site. Fight two was after we built the site, we wanted to make sure everybody in this room and your families, anybody like you, can use the facility. And we felt that if we were going to pay tax dollars to build a brand new facility in middle of North St. Louis, then give organizations a million or more dollars a year to operate it. Very good organization. I'm very glad the YMCA and the Boys and Girls Club operate it. But we wanted to make sure that for that money, we were going to ensure that everybody, especially kids, were going to be able to use this facility. Now, uh, the mayor made it sound like it was a catwalk. Like, like and all we had to do was just ask for it, and we got it. And we had an equal partner there fighting at the table with it. Every fight involves two parties. If we fighting somebody, who are we fighting? <laughs> so that's who we were fighting with. And so it's great after the fight is over, everybody wants to take credit. But I'm not going to let him come here and, and lie to you and tell you uh, a false story. That's that guy. Every game we make in this community, we have to fight for. Because we don't have a partner in Room 200. Because we don't have somebody who has our back. That's the truth. And I'm glad he came for the first time. And I tell you, three first world people are polite people. And I appreciate that. But sometimes we're polite to a flaw. All right? Sometimes you just got to tell truth to power. And when power on a rare occasion comes to visit us, you need to tell the truth.